Welcome back to Taxi Squad Talk from Neuroscience Group Field at Fox City Stadium. Taxi Squad Talk is brought to you by SureDry. And we're going to break a bit of a pattern here. We've talked to a lot of former Timber Rattlers. On this edition, we're going to talk to probably a future Timber Rattler in Edgar uh, Perez. And, uh, Edward, we've got a lot of requests for you, and we want to welcome you to Taxi Squad Talk. Hey, man, thank you for the opportunity of being here. Uh, well, it's a, it's a pleasure of being here, like being with all these guys. Some of them big leaguers, uh, players in the big league, in the big league. Like, it's been a pleasure for being here. It's a place where I can learn, and I'm having fun. By the way, yeah. What what have you learned? I know the competition is really tough. I mean, you're facing some guys that are that have been in the major leagues, like Jake Faria, and guys that are on the cusp of going to the big leagues, like Zach Brown, and some other guys uh, that have a lot more uh, professional experience than you do. What What is your whole competition and what has your experience been like? Well, uh, just being with all these big leaguers, like just asking them what are those them routines, like how they prepare before the season or mid the season. Uh, players of my same position, like outfielders, like Korean Broxton or Corey Ray, they're being like, like you can say like a mentor or something like that. Like I've been learning a lot, uh, playing with all these guys, like having a little bit of competition. Uh, it's been great, man. Uh, having fun. Now I was here your first day on the field. I, I think it was your first day on the field, and you were chasing a ball in right field, <laughs> and you drifted into foul territory, and you flipped over the fence down there, and got up, and you you showed off the ball like you were okay, but. You kind of gave everybody a little bit of a scare there, kid. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun story because I, I wasn't supposed to, to play that day. Uh, Nestor Corey already told me, nah, you can play just defense today. Uh, okay, I'll play. And I went there. The first ball they hit was towards <laughs> me. And I was running. I didn't see the, the fence. I just flipped out. I was okay. I got the ball. It's a great play, so. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your signing with the Brewers. I mean, that, that happened uh, last year uh, in July. You got to take batting practice at, at Miller Park. What went into that? What was that whole process like in signing with the Milwaukee Brewers? Man, just like a dream came true. Just I started like training for getting my sign since I was like 14 years old. Uh, getting the sign and all that with the, uh, with the Brewers, a great organization. They have been like, taking care of me like Ben how are you how are you are you feeling okay they're very nice like going to to a middle party they taking them out what's a great pressure of being there like a big league stand like just then I was saw like playing a video game so I stand I was there like hitting BP with all those guys uh Christian Jelly, Sean Brown all those guys it was like a dream come true. I was just like watching the stand. I was like, oh, man, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. your, your dad actually played at Miller Park as a Milwaukee Brewer. I think Robert Perez, best known as, as a Toronto Blue Jay. And uh, you were actually born while he was playing in Japan and Mexico and out of the major leagues. But what's, what's your earliest experience uh, uh, or earliest memory of your dad playing baseball? Well, like when I was born, he used to play in Venezuela and the the Venezuelan League, uh, man, it's uh, like a big bless, like big blessing, like being son of my dad. Uh, it's a great mentor. Like oh, he got uh, a lot of, like teach me a lot. I can say like he has all those years. I've been watching him, and it's been great. Like like telling all my friends like oh your dad is Robert Perez I was like yes it's fine I, I'm, I'm very happy <laughs> now uh, your dad played winter ball for for Lara and mm -hmm. uh, I, that's a the name that's familiar to me because uh, when the uh, Timber Rattlers were a Mariners affiliate a lot of guys that uh, went down and played with Lara most notably I think Luis Valbuena was one of them uh, along with several others but what a, what a, what was a, a winter league baseball game like in, in Lara in the, in Venezuela? Man, the people the people is just crazy. <laughs> They're like they would cheer till first inning pitch till the last inning pitch. Like oh my god, the people there, uh, the fans, uh, the players. They've been like super funny in the dugouts. They're just playing and having fun. Like it's not it's not like they, well they take it serious, but they have fun like too. <laughs> What uh, now? You're only 17. You're going to turn 18 uh, next year. But what have you been doing uh, away from the field? Uh, just just hanging out in the hotel room and, and getting ready for for baseball the next day. 
Well, yeah, uh, thank God I brought my PlayStation here, <laughs> just playing video <laughs> games with my friends from Venezuela. I miss them a lot. I play with them or watch some movies, uh, hanging out with, with the other guys, going to to eat or something with precaution. But, yeah, it's, that's all, like, all my day. Like, wake up, come here to the set, and then eat, and then play video games, and that repeats. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's it's been a fun experience, though, for you from what you've, what you, what you've already said. So... Um, just wanted to ask you one final thing. Um, Bobby Wall has been on the PA. Uh, he's been needling you a little bit every time you come up. What's the craziest thing he has said about you? Oh, my God, the craziest thing? That you can share on, on video. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he'll say, like, one of my first game here, before the game, he said oh, something like, uh, yeah, we got a, a minor kid in the stadium. Where's the where's his father? Where's his mom? Can you find him? <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> All right. Well, Edbert, it's been a lot of fun watching you uh, at this alternate training site with these guys, and hopefully we'll see you back here at some point in your career with with a lot of fans in the stands, and you can show everybody what you got in a in a, in a Midwest League game. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you. That's Edbert Perez joining us on Taxi Squad Talk, brought to you by Sure Drive. Thank you.